Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and in this video I will teach you how to create a simple macro to do a VLOOKUP. And what is a macro? Macro is a beautiful thing which allows you to automate your regular functions in Excel. So I will sh show you an example. I, I want to do a VLOOKUP for which I have already written a macro. And see now, I simply just have to click on this button, run macro and my results are being gathered automatically over here see I just need to click where I want the return result and I click on run macro and I'm getting the answers and here's the formula that's getting applied automatically how did I do it it's very very simple so to do uh, uh, to create a simple macro for uh, to do a VLOOKUP for you first of all in this ribbon over there on this tab you need to do a right click to activate the developer tab so you need to click on customize ribbon and if you're using Excel 2010 and above you'll find the developer checkbox over here itself which you need to check and once it is checked you can you need to click on OK and this developer tab would become available over here however if you're using an older version you'll have to go to the options and over there activate the developer tab click on OK so once the developer tab is activated this is how it would look like it will ask you it will tell you where you can how you can record a macro so macro is simply a recording which excel plays back for you to run whatever function you have recorded over there so we can start recording our macro in this cell all right so we click over here and click on record macro we give it a name so we our name would be say macro we look up make sure that there are no spaces in the name that you provide for the macros and you can also give it a shortcut key of your own choice and you can either have the macro run only in this workbook or you can have it uh, run in other workbooks also if you choose personal macro workbook and you can also give it a description so I click on OK the macro started recording you can see the stop recording button now over here and we start writing our code which is our formula so Excel is recording your steps. It does not matter how long you, you, you would take to record this macro. Time is real irrelevant to macro. It doesn't record the time. What it records is the number of steps. So take your time. So is equal to VLOOKUP. What are we looking up? The name of the students. We press F4 to lock it. Comma. We go to the raw data. This is where the raw data is. So we select the complete area. I am assuming you are all aware how to use a VLOOKUP and we select this data and we, if you're pulling up the marks for maths which we are so we choose the column number from here which i've already mentioned for maths the column number would be two for english the column number would be three so it will help in the automation part so to select the column number we click over here and we get the column number comma zero bracket close enter and you have your macro you have your VLOOKUP done now you can click on stop recording your macro is recorded let's test it let's click on English and go to macros and choose the macro whichever you want to run so I we just wrote this macro macro VLOOKUP and we select it and click on run macro see we get the result we go to Spanish we go to macros we go to select the correct macro macro VLOOKUP and we click on run we get the marks for Spanish now how did I get this kind of button well it's very simple you simply click anywhere you want to have the button again in the developer tab you will find this option insert in the insert you can have this button all right click where you want to have the button and it will ask you do you want to assign it a macro yes I want to assign it a macro so I'll assign a macro to this button so the macro we look up we just created click OK and we have it all right you can give it a name of your choice so right click it type on edit text and you can type whatever you want to run macro all right and you can resize it also now click on geography and click on run macro click on chemistry run macro why don't you go ahead and download this file right now and practice these two cells yourself and get, give you get the marks for history and computers yourself go to mylesson.org and in the go to the excel training sections find the video and run macros we look up 
run macros and download the file and then you can practice along with us over here all right and since you are on if you go to the website you can also choose to look into our courses beginner courses excel intermediate courses and excel advanced courses all are free for you to view all right so i hope you like this video and until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning